boy, do I love it when image creators update their images and add to them, make them even better. Look at this, 22,735 games here. Over 50 systems, many themes, many add-ons, running the latest and greatest retro Pi, running on the Raspberry Pi 4, and this is a retro gamer's dream. I'm telling you, Darzone doesn't mess around, especially when it comes to these older systems, especially the computer-based systems, um, it's just huge, huge collections. But check this out, like PSP, 116 games. Although there's some PSP minis. PlayStation, 618 games. You got Sega Saturn, you got Thomas Wave. You got a pretty decent sized Dreamcast collection. Um, you got a huge arcade set. You got the desktop uh, uh, shortcut. Check out these little uh, other things that are in the settings. It's just full of synth wave music. Uh, scripts to change it to whether you prefer to call it Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. You know, um, Sega CD has been added or Mega Drive CD. You could change that all out as well. Like I said, just massive, massive collection, fully done out, uh, and scripts. That's what I'm trying to get out here. See if I can finally find it. You go over here to System, Scripts Galore. You could change your bezels out. You could turn on and off the background music with this music player right here, which has so many different controls on it. You can easily clean up your controls and change them. You can flip Genesis and Mega Drive, SNES from the European to the US model. Um, there's even something here called the demo mode, which I've never seen before on an image. And basically it just runs through games for you. If you like, this is gonna be really cool for like a YouTuber or somebody who's on some background music or just something to go on the background when you have your friends over, you know, um, really, really cool. And then in advanced options here, you have even more stuff, changing your fan speed, uh, editing the demo mode for exactly what it does, all kinds of stuff. It does come with a um, lot of other stuff, right? Overclock scripts, uh, speed modes. Uh, this is the overclock. Um, you can even, there's a uh, some optimization here, theme randomizer, even the video output. This one's cool because some of you are running on a 720p versus 1080. All you do is you click this button. Not much to do with scripts. And then you can hit start on your controller here, and then you have all kinds of... Uh, themes as well. You can see we're running the neon purple right now, but lots of neon themes. Look at this. Look how many themes are on here. These will all change the look and the feel of the emulation station here. So lots of stuff. Let's check out vintage. So you click on it, you go back. It takes a little moment. So this is running on the Raspberry Pi 4, and I am going to be overclocking it for this video. Just a small overclock to like the 1750 uh, range. And I've already been playing with this image for a while now. It's really nice. It's uh, about 480 gigabyte download. And yes, if ever, like everyone is wondering, will it fit on a 512 gigabyte SD card? Absolutely. It'll also fit on a hard drive. It's ready for a portable hard drive or, you know, an SSD, whatever you want to put it on through USB. You can absolutely run it on that as well. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Let's see what we got on here. But that's the gist of it, which is Darius Stone made really good images in the past. Something I actually have to also bring up is this, is that he doesn't use video snaps. So right now, sometimes like a little demo plays and there's a little video playing right now. He doesn't do that. It saves him a ton of space. And that's how he's probably able to add more games. Like 127 CD games is a lot of games. Um, so it takes up a lot of space, these, these video snaps. So he doesn't do them, but he's got lots of great artwork and things like that. And then again, if you want to see videos, there's, there's a demo mode. You could do screen savers, all kinds of stuff like that. So he already made really well polished builds, and now he's polished it even more, added even more scripts, even more games, even more systems. So it's always cool to see, um, especially when you already liked the previous build. So that's if you're wondering, like, oh, why are you so, you know, why are you, you know, so positive about this? And, you know, I, I'm a little more skeptical when a new build comes on, <clears throat> on the market because... Is it really practical that somebody could go through 23,000 games in, in one build by themselves or even with a group of one or two? It takes a really, really long time. And so you've had people uh, like Virtual Man and like Wolf of Nose who really had a huge community behind them and actually played the games and provide feedback and they built on them. Darius Zone is one of those people. Now, before I get into exactly what's on here and what's going on, I do want to just, um, like Amiga, Amiga, like he usually has huge Amiga collections. Yeah, there you go, 2100, you know, CD-138. So if you're into, like I said, old school computers, it's 1800 here. There's a lot of that. All right, so back to Dar Zone, though. Um, I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have any affiliation with him. I know him. I know of his YouTube channel. Go check it out. He's there. 
he does ask that you join his VIP program on his Discord. And I guess that's a way for him to help monetize his time that he spends on all these bills and things like that. If you want to do that, you can. Uh, after I make this video, I'm sure it'll be re-uploaded to very famous websites like Arcade Punks and Arcade uh, and Backups.me. So, it, yeah, it, I mean, it's free software, so there shouldn't be any reason not to be able to get it. Um, so it'll be available to those people. Uh, but just in case you're wondering, I'm not affiliated with him. You should support the creator, though. Maybe subscribe to his YouTube channel, say thank you, and then, you know, see what he's got going on you know i do he does give like help things like that again i'm not affiliated with him it's just what i see when i read the comments and i'm on his youtube channel it seems like that's kind of what he has going on over there i i have nothing uh negative or positive to say it, it is what it is all right so let's jump into the build <clears throat> all right so i changed the theme again here we are uh, when you boot up, you should be around all games. And let's move to the right here. You got, like I said in the beginning of the video, almost 24,000 games. Favorites is totally empty. You can add your own favorites. System is going to be all your RetroPie setup and your configuration and stuff. You might also want to hit start on your controller. You can get a lot of the settings and things like that. It'll absolutely prompt you to uh, put your controls in when you first boot this system up. So that's when you set up your controls right there. Moving along to our first system, is it's alphabetical, so first one is 3DO, you have 13 games. 3DO runs okay on the Raspberry Pi 4, not great, um, but so I'm glad he's not spending too much time there. Amiga, Amiga 1200, Amiga CD, like I said, huge collections. He's kind of, in my opinion, he's one of the people that have kind of um, really spent a lot of time on Amiga and, and getting it all, all set up, and Ransom, I remember, was it really into that, a couple, a couple of creators, and so uh awesome stuff so same thing with amstrad but then you move along to arcade huge 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 arcade set here light gun games fighters everything from street fighter the simpsons x-men games wwf games uh you name it racing games sports games it's all here you can move uh letters by hitting your you even have the verse nintendo games so huge 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 arcade set here you're probably going to find most of your main games in here Atari 2600, 600, 7800 is 83, Atari Lynx 85, ST 261, Commodore 64. So another, like I said, he's heavy into the computer-based system, so Commodore 64, huge collection at 4200. Some of you might be disappointed, especially if you like newer systems like Nintendo and newer like NES, SNES, and then disc-based games. So if that's the case, a lot of this is going to be unnecessary for you, but I do think that this has a, actually kind of has a good collection of both. It's not necessarily skewed in one direction it's kind of has the gamut the entire gamut of games but you can make your own decision here cdtv you got about 19 games here so another system you don't see very often coley co 136 daphne you only have four some people like some other games but the two main ones i hear about are usually space ace and dragon slayer i know there's some more games but it's a good uh good little little bit dreamcast 127 now i have noticed like the dreamcast and the thomas wave and the naomi there's you're gonna find duplicates in there um i'm not sure if they're actually those versions of games i haven't really played with them too much um or like metal slug 6 like this is an thomas wave uh, uh game so i think there's some crossover there uh, you can usually see by the cd case uh, whether it's in japanese writing or or english writing um so speaking of that i was just saying like if you go over there should be a thomas wave so you got naomi over here where you're going to see a lot of the same games and then uh but i think that okay so like crazy taxi i think actually is the different different games okay so there might not be duplicates and then he has a thomas wave as well around here somewhere so i just want to since we're on the system i want to i know we're jumping ahead in the alphabet but um <clears throat> oh there's desktop capcom a thomas wave yeah so you got a thomas wave as well at 18. All right, so let's go back to, we were at Dreamcast. I just, you know, that'd be cool, right? I think Dreamcast, Thomas, Wave, Naomi, you know, it's in alphabetical order, but those are similar systems. So Family Computer System 390, Disk System, US 65, Game Gear 281, Game Boy 491. So huge, pretty much all the portable games, if you're into that. GX 4000, 21 games. I did notice that if a system is 16-9 ratio in television 124, it'll usually use your whole screen. If it's 4-3, they're gonna use bezels. I did see somebody asking, like, does this image support four or three screens, like in general, like a non widescreen monitor? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I think you're gonna have to do some uh, editing to get that to work. Mega Drive 962. Now I'm not sure if the hack games are in here or not, because I know he does have hacks as well, hack games like homebrew games, things like that. 
Um, yeah, I think because that's one right there, right? Uh, yeah, like Amy Rose. Yeah, so there's hack games in here as well in Mega Drive 962. Uh, then you have Mega Drive 191, your Japanese games, MSX 635, Naomi. So 75 games. So if you add Naomi, a Thomas Wave Dreamcast, it's like 200 games or so, which is pretty cool. I really like those systems. So for me, that's cool. Now, here's my one of my little beefs would be, you know, why not throw all the Nintendo 64 games on here, especially with the overclock script. A lot of these games will run. But this is 124. I did play Diddy Kong Racing. It ran well. And there are, you know, the majority of the games you're going to want to play on here for, the, you know, people who, you know, grew up on it, the, the more famous games. But uh, some people might want to add some more. 124 on Nintendo 64. Nintendo DS 190. That's a pretty good collection as well. And if you look through here, it's been sorted out. You know, Tony Hawk, Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tetris, Star Wars, more of the more, more common, more popular games. Neo Geo 142, one pre-printed all of them. Neo Geo CD, almost all of them, 29. Uh, Nintendo, all of them, plus hacks. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color 47, open bore 100 games. So I know there's been some... Uh, you know, a lot of people in the retro gaming scene really enjoy open bore. So here's another image with a good open bore. MS DOS 117. That's a solid MS DOS. Um, yeah, you name it. All those, all those really fun games you grew up on playing on DOS are here. And uh, I have to say, a lot of them really cool. Like even just Command and Conquer, or you know, Mortal Kombat 3, Micro Machines 1 and 2, Lemmings. I mean, a lot, a lot of good Hexen you know, Doom, all that stuff. And then or Dune, D-U-N-E, and there's also Duke Nukem, and there's going to be Doom, but there's also, if you scoot over two more or three more over here in ports, you also got Brutal Doom, Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, Cave Story, Heretic, Hexen, uh, even Huracan, this is a new one that he just added, um, is all on there, Streets of Rage Remake, even Super Mario 64. So huge, huge stuff right there with the MS-DOS and ports. PC Engine 252, PC uh, Super CD 100, uh, PSP. Now, this is a little misleading, 116, because as I scroll through them here, you'll notice that some of them are PSP minis, which are really small, just kind of like, you know, not as uh, graphically intense or uh, long games. They're more like mini games, as they're called minis. And uh, so it's a little misleading, but um, there's still a solid, I'd say a solid PSP collection here. I'm happy with it. I mean, it has a lot of the games I'd want to play. So, um, and uh, you'll see, I play PSP later. You'll see it as I play. That 2X resolution was running really good. Now, PlayStation 600, whew, this is a PlayStation collection, if I'm talking about one. So, at 600, like, do I really even need to scroll? Like, 90% of the time, it's going to have the game you're looking for. Uh, the one thing I did do is they don't have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for Dreamcast, but he does have it here in PlayStation. I don't know. It seems like the Dreamcast version is slightly better, but, you know, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers kind of thing. Anyways, as you see, a ton of games. It take me forever to scroll through there. It's, it's, it's a huge, huge PlayStation collection. 32X, pretty much all of them. Sega Saturn, 20 games. I didn't play Sega Saturn. Um, you're going to get some lag in these games. Um, but some of them run decent. Um, Die Hard Arcade being one of my favorites, but I don't think they have. Yeah, he doesn't have it because it doesn't really run that well on the Raspberry Pi Four. Um, so a lot of these will run pretty decent. Uh, no Sonic Jam. No Batman Forever. So he's missing some of the best games. But anyways, um, I, I I don't prefer to. I prefer to do Sega Saturn on a PC. Anyways, it's, it's nothing against him. It's just the Raspberry Pi Four isn't quite ready for it. Scum VM forty three. So not a huge Scum VM collection, but remember, there's the Do the DOS box, you know, MS DOS. There's a lot of good games there. <clears throat> if you're in that kind of era, Sega CD, whew, pretty much all of them, almost 126. So huge that, and then Mega Drive CD. This is a new add-on, so those Japanese CD games uh, are included. Sonic CD. I I know. Does anybody know what what is the difference between the the uh, Mega Drive version and the uh, US version, I wonder if there was much changes. Super Graphics 5, Super Famicom 510, Super Nintendo 923, Super Nintendo CD. So these are cool, a little better soundtracks on them. You got Killer Instinct. I mean, these are fun games to play if you've never played them with the enhanced soundtrack. Uh, really cool. Gives you like a new uh, a new way to revisit these, these games you enjoyed as a kid. 
TurboGrafx 1694, CD 35, 68,000, 180, Sinclair 1278. Now this one's kind of cool. It's it's a collection, right? So this isn't a system. It's just saying these are all four player games, which is kind of cool, right? To have those separated out if you want to play with four people. Because most games are one or two player, but you know, having the four. Now arcade hacks, this is kind of novel. These are, you know, home brews, hack versions of games, as you see here, mostly Street Fighter hacks, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which edition is this? An enhanced version. Ooh. Uh, Atomic Wave 18, CPS system 72. Desktop brings you to a desktop terminal to use this, you know, go on YouTube, go on a web browser, run some scripts, whatever you want to do. Cody, if you want to turn it into a media player. And then you have your hack games. You got Mega Drive hacks. These are homebrews hacks, things like that. Angry Birds, Nintendo hacks. What do you got here? You got 194, 235, Sega 194, SNES 98. Right? So you got you know, maybe 500 hack games. So there you have it. We're back at all games. And uh, like I said, there's there's like between Amiga, Commodore 64, when you get rid of those, when you get rid of some of these systems that, you know, for all intents and purposes for me, I'm not probably not going to be playing a lot of them. Um, so it's really like 15,000 games or so. It's still a ton of games that you could fit on a 512 gigabyte SD card. And as data gets cheaper and cheaper, you know, I'm sure he'll figure out a way to get this to a terabyte you know, and, and, and fill it all up, but um, well optimized, huge on the artwork, you know, getting it, you know, uh, optimized and looking good, massive, massive respect and uh, beautiful. So do I recommend this one? Absolutely. I'm, um, you know, I think a lot of image creators, they kind of did their best work. You know, they're like, we're tapped out as far as hardware. You know, we built the best retro builds in the past, you know, and so I get it. No reason to like, do like you know add five scripts and then call it like hey new 2020 version this one though i think darzone waited a while since his last build so it's been enough time where there's quite a bit of updates to do he added new systems he added new games new themes new uh scripts the scripts are actually pretty cool like the background music player the demo mode uh the fixes the swaps things like that um so for me it's, it's worth the upgrade you can make the decision on your own. Uh, two thumbs up over here. That's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.